Hey everybody, this is No Filter, a Nintendo podcast, and here's my review for Defunct for Nintendo Switch. Defunct comes to us from Freshly Squeezed, and it is a 3D platforming game, and uh, it's a little different than typical 3D platformers because you're on wheels, so essentially you're racing around, but you're also jumping and uh, going over platforms, but a lot of it is actually... Um, I don't know if you guys would have played some of these games that you see on phones where basically you jump up in the air, if you hit, if you tap on the screen and hold, you basically activate more gravity on your person, and then if you hit a down slope, you will then speed up, and then you let go of gravity put a button again, then you can fly up in the air again, but basically you're just affecting gravity as you jump around, and this is implemented here in Defunct in a 3D, uh, beautiful actually, a very beautiful 3D landscape, and it's a very... Uh, very nice. I really like those games on on uh, cell phones, so it's really cool to finally see one in like a 3D platforming game. So essentially you play as a broken robot, and uh, basically he's fallen out of, a, he's a service robot, and he's fallen out of his ship, and he's trying to chase down his ship as it's going through a valley, basically. So he's... Essentially, you fall out, you're in this dark down area here, and you're trying to chase after your ship so you can get back on and uh, continue with your work. So uh, you, you basically start, and you're just kind of rolling around, you're collecting different orbs to speed up, and you're kind of just going through the levels, getting to certain checkpoints, and you just keep going through and through. Uh, all the locales vary greatly. Some of them, uh, you're in like a dark caverns uh, with some like broken uh, larger uh, ships in this uh, area here, or there's... Um, or, you know, you'll be going through, like, a desert in one instance. You'll be going through some rolling hills in another, going through a deep, dark forest in another, uh, you know, going along beaches in another. It's a huge variety, and it's really kind of gorgeous, some of these levels. And uh, it's a, it's an interesting sort of thing, because, like, uh, the world is so pretty, and I kind of want to explore, but a lot of the game is really just kind of blast through, go through, get through the checkpoints. There's not much really stopping you, unless you really want to go after some of these collectibles that you have. Um, there's some like, you know, crannies, nooks and crannies and stuff around like the outside of like different levels and stuff that you can go to that would have a, a different challenge, which is actually really nice because uh, you're basically just collecting uh, essentially think of like Kong letters, basically, and you're just collecting a few of those for every level. They're basically just like little pieces. You have like maybe three or five per level. Um, and yeah, you just got to do that. You go through, you get through that level. It opens up a gate and then you kind of just roll through. It's generally a larger open world. It's not... Um, too broken up with like loading screens or anything like that but uh, yeah no it's just a lot of fun you pick up a lot of speed in some of these like when you're going down a hill you're just flying like crazy flying and you jump up in the air you're just going right over everything in a level it seems like you'll be missing a lot of the levels so that kind of hurts my OCD of like checking everything but like you just kind of got to get in that mindset where you're just kind of flying through the air and just like speeding through everything and it's really kind of gorgeous in this like apocalyptic you know world uh, think like wally or something as like you know a uh, cleaning uh you know old uh broken robot and like this no there's not much um you know human life or anything like that in the world there's some like uh, small animals and plant life but you're mostly alone and it's it's kind of an interesting dynamic you know with everything it's got that kind of wally feel to it which is uh really kind of nice actually and not just that like the actual design of uh, the character you play the little robot is actually pretty cute too um and uh, yeah no it's just uh it's it's a lot of fun like again if you like those type of games where it's like that I was saying about like phone games where it's like you know you're speeding through and you're like timing everything right with like when you're going to activate gravity on yourself and like push you forward there's a lot of different elements throughout the game that you have like grinding rails and stuff like that and like jumping over certain things getting onto higher platforms and you know speeding along boost pads and stuff like that it's uh yeah, it's just a lot of fun, and I think this is definitely a hidden gem. Um, in fact, I definitely have to do a hidden gem video and include this on that, because uh, there's a lot of hidden gems on the eShop, and this is definitely one of them that I feel like a lot of people might be missing. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely uh, the uh, no-filter uh, seal of approval on this game. Anyways, guys, that's my review for Defunct for Nintendo Switch. I want to thank Freshly Squeezed for the uh, review code, and I will see you all next time.